Hey there. Okay, on to the important subject today. I meant to do this a while ago and forgot. We've already talked about attacking legs. So I like to come here and then to here and then do a few of these. And come to there and I'll come to here and to there. This kind of stuff. Okay, your legs are rich, the opponent's legs are a rich uh, target, well worth going for. Okay, because most people don't take the time to learn how to defend them properly. I try and block like this, you know, and look, my head's well wide open. So if you can come like this, you've suddenly got, you know, take his legs out as he's busy doing this, trying to follow you, you got him. Okay, how to defend your legs then? without doing this. Very simple, one word, lutang, like the floating step. Okay, so how this works, from here, I'm assuming my opponent is going to attack this front leg, you see the one I'm tapping here, probably around my knee. All I have to do is take it out of the way. But if I do this, now I'm out of range of him. I just step back, like I talk about little kids doing karate, bouncing back with the floors. Okay, but if I can take my leg out of the way and stay in distance, that means I can counter to him rather than rather than just right there. Fair enough. He didn't hit me, but I didn't hit him either. So what I'm going to do is from here counter to his hand, which is there, because look. There's a stick's length from where my knee is, so his hand's at the other end of that stick. There. That simple. Yeah. I start the movement by dropping this heel. So I'll be fighting from here. Okay. I see him, what well, I assume go for my legs. I drop that heel, and you see by doing that, my whole of my pelvis starts to go backward. And then I do that. But my head doesn't move very much, see? This is not a defense for my head, okay? If I do this again for my head, I'm gonna get smacked in my head. This is to defend my legs. So I'm here. Do it facing forward, you see what I'm doing? All I'm doing is hitting downwards onto my opponent's hand. So I'm here, drop my back foot there, but it's quick. And if you see, at the point where I'm at the back, I am leaning forward, there. See, I can't stay there, I'm off balance, but it's just because I take my leg out of the way and then come back again. There, there. And that is it. Forehand, that's from there. I can come backhand as well. So I can come off my back shoulder, off my left shoulder, sorry, and strike backhand like that. The rest of it is exactly the same. So from here, because I could be standing like this, maybe I just whacked at him, I come to there, he counters to my leg. There. And you see this hand, I'll often put it backwards as a sort of counterbalance. Because I'm not gonna be using this hand in blocking because I'm too far away from him, because I'm moving myself briefly out of range. So from here, You see, I'm coming like that. You see where the tip of my stick is? That's where his would be. If he's hitting me, or I'm hitting him, this sort of area is where I'm aiming for. The bony bit at the end of his arm. Wrist, hand, I don't care. Yeah, so from here. That's it. He attacks my leg, move out of the way and hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Sometimes I'll do this. Alternate. Alternate from my backhand to my forehand. So I could go like this. There to there. There to there. There to there. There. See? But I can stay doing this. I'm doing this really slowly. Yeah. This then, of course, gives you the, uh, the discussion about what's the best fighting stance. Now, I like this fighting stance for several reasons. I'll turn so you can see. You can see, my hands are up, okay? 
and my back heel is raised. The front of my body is very, very straight. Okay? Like that. Why do I like this? There is nothing sticking out for my opponent to get to. If I was like this, you can see, now that front knee is much more the target, and so is this hand. Okay? And if I fight like this, this is just ridiculous because I have to pull it back to hit apart from a thrust. That's all I have from there. Okay? If I do this, some people will knock it out of the way and then attack me. Whereas from here, 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 yeah, with this flat front, it's very hard for somebody to move in on me, for me to hit me without moving in and giving me that. Or from here, give me that. You can do lutein from that rising attack as well. So from here, like this, I'm in as non-threatening a position as could be. Somebody attacks, I just come out and back. Like that. Less of a lutein now because my head's moving. See? Because I'm striking something that's more here. For the genuine lutein, we'll come to that another day. I'm going to do some more Lago Mano stuff tomorrow. I'll look at that. But for today, this is enough. That. So, and you can train it. I'll often move this foot like that. Reason being, if someone's really aggressively coming forward like this, they're going to cover a lot of distance. And perhaps I need more than just that. So I might do that. But in principle, it's the same thing. Then you put a little bit of music on if you want. And just move to the beat. But you need to do it quickly. Another good option is to have hanging off the bottom of your tree where your tire often is, have a tennis ball and a piece of string because you're hitting something that's roughly the same size as your fist. Okay? Work on that. Tomorrow I'm going to look at some Lagomano footwork, how to move around into long range. Okay? Probably my favourite part of the game. Right? Have a good evening. I'll see you tomorrow.